we have to address some of the most pressing issues of our time. My name is Matthew Swift, and I'm the chairman, CEO, and co-founder of Concordia. It's a real pleasure today to be in touch with all of our good friends at the Global Citizen Forum, and especially to Armand Arden, who we're very pleased to say just recently became a senior advisor to Concordia. But at this time, it's also a moment to reflect on the fact that we have to address some of the most pressing issues in a cross-sector and collaborative way more than ever before. As I reflect upon 10 years at Concordia Summit and all of the summits and forums we've hosted, all of the meetings, the one-on-one -on -one gatherings, the roundtables, the network and the community that Concordia is, what I realize is that these issues actually do touch everybody. Things that happen around the world can affect us all, and we have to understand that at a deeper level. The cross-sector and public-private partnership model that Concordia has championed for years and the Global Citizen Forum has really celebrated in its content and its gatherings is truly vital for this time. In the same way that communities can go overlooked despite their economic promise, small countries can carry an outsized role and footprint internationally that the rest of the world would do well to note. The 2019 Concordia Annual Summit, His Excellency Mohammed Al Thani encouraged the audience to recognize the importance of multilateralism in global affairs and to avoid overlooking countries based on their size. As a convener and a partner of Global Citizen Forum, I'm extraordinarily proud of the sessions we've hosted over the years that have elevated heads of state from countries that many times are overlooked, but whose models represent very important lessons for the rest of the world. While public-private partnerships are critical to driving progress towards the sustainable development goals, the nature of partnerships is expanding with business-to-business -business partnerships and the changing nature of philanthropy. We're seeing a willingness for people to create a common language in order to tackle problems at scale. The main driver of eliminating the barriers that surround us is partnerships. We need to find pathways that bridge societies and individuals in ways that have not been done before. I think about the future and think about what is possible. And I think about all the powers that technology can now give us to still ensure that we're interconnected in ways that we have never been before, but in ways that the world is calling on all of us to do more than ever before.